Hi, welcome to Learn to Code with Simon Martinelli. In today's episode, I'd like to talk to you about Vadin and drag and drop. I'm currently working in a project where we build an application to plan and run large sports competitions. During the planning phase, we also have to plan the facilities. On this picture, you see the famous Hayward Stadium in Eugene, Oregon. And there we see, for example, tracks to do the runs, or we see uh, facilities to do long jump or shot put. And somehow we have to do the planning of this facility in our application. Let's have a look how this looks like in the application. By the way, the whole application is built with Wadin. And also this timeline diagram that you see here is built with Wadin. Um, on the left hand side, you see the rows and these are the facilities. For example, on the first row, we have the 800 meter track. Uh, and then we see the color bars and these bars and colors are the reservations on the facilities. Now the whole planning is built with our planning algorithm, but sometimes the person doing the planning wants to change uh, the planning. And how can he do that? He could, for example, click on a bar and then change the properties. And uh, this will uh, result in changing the planning. But maybe there is a better option. And the better option could be drag and drop. And that's exactly what I've implemented lately. So we have drag and drop support used from Vadin, which by the way is excellent. And what we can do now, we can move the bars. For example, here uh, on that uh, line, we have this planning that uh, is between 920 and 932. And now we can just click on it and then start dragging around. Here we see the gray bars that are the slots that are free to plan. And we also see that here in that case, we have two facilities for the same sports. So we can just move it here because the other facilities do not match the sports that we want to plan. And so for example, here I can move it to the second row. And if I drag it, it will move to the second row. That's very nice, isn't it? After we have seen the drag and drop on the timeline diagram in action, let's dig into the code. Here we see the planning chart. That's the class that implements uh, the diagram. Uh, this planning chart gets the planning. So that's a data structure containing all the reservations. And then we also have some configuration so we can configure uh, the slot length in minutes. And we can also define how many pixels per minute we want to display in the diagram. And as you can see here, the diagram is just a volume grid, a regular volume grid with two columns. We have a column with uh, the facility name here on that line. And on the line below, we see that we add a component column where we create uh, the rows. The rows, by the way, are just uh, filled with uh, some diffs. Now, the elements that you see in the diagrams, the bars are as I said, a diff. So here we have this bar class uh, and we have two types of bars. We first have the resource plan bar. That's the reservation. This has also a tooltip. And uh, this resource bar is used to start the dragging. So if you use drag and drop with Vadin, you will always have a drag source. That's in our case, the resource bar, the colorful bar that you've seen before. And we have a drop target. The drop target will be the free slot where we want to drop the bar. Now to create a drag source, we use a static method to create on the drag source class, pass uh, the element that we want to drag, in that case, the resource bar. Uh, we then add some data. So we add the resource, that's the configuration, uh, of the reservation uh, as drag data because we want to use that then uh, when it's dropped. And then we can add drag and start and drag end listeners. What we will do here is 
we will uh, disable the tooltip because we don't want to see the tooltip if we drag it around. And then we have the fillers. The fillers are the three slots that we have. And then we filter that if the discipline, so the sports matches the resource sports. And if it is matching, then we activate uh, the filler as a drop target. We will see how we configure the drop ta target in a minute. And we also add a specific class. This class uh, then makes that the filler bar is turning gray as we've seen before. And if we finish uh, the drag, we do the same uh, in the opposite side. So we enable the tooltip, then we again filter for uh, the fillers, uh, deactivate the drop target and remove the class. So then the fillers will become invisible again. And then we have this uh, implementation of the bar, that's the filler. And the filler here, we will uh, configure that as a drop target and the uh, drop target can have a drop listener. So in that case, if uh, I drop uh, the resource bar to this filler, um, the drag data will be fetched from the event. Then we check if it's a uh, instance of a resource and what will happen here, we just move the time of uh, the resource bar to the new bar. And then finally we refresh uh, the rows that we see um, the new planning. That's it. I think it's pretty easy. Just use drag source and drop target from Vadin and you are done with drag and drop and Vadin. That's it from this episode. I hope you enjoyed the content. If so, please like the video and subscribe to my channel 